It's time for another episode of Inside 300, presented by InsideTheMagic.com. I'm your host, Brian Perry. Let's get you caught up on everything you need to know about Disney parks in the next five minutes. Or 300 seconds, I guess, would, would be better. We kick things off with guests riding the legendary Pirates of the Caribbean at Disneyland. As they were stuck in excess of 90 minutes the other night, according to the Orange County Register. Cast members eventually had to make their ways into the dark, murky waters in order to push the guests to evacuation points found throughout the ride. This photo here shows people getting off of their boat near one of the overhead bridges. As a gift for their troubles, Disneyland provided each inconvenienced guest with two max passes to skip the line for any attraction except Rise of the Resistance and Haunted Mansion Holiday which is hilarious to me. Sorry you lost two hours in our park. We feel bad, but not bad enough to give you a skip the line pass for Rise or Haunted Mansion. In our last episode, we talked about the return of the Main Street Electrical Parade over at Disneyland in the not so distant future. When it does return to the streets of Anaheim, it might kick off with a different opening than the one that everyone has become accustomed to. This video taken over in Tokyo Disneyland showcases a new introduction that replaces the ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls intro that you may remember. Instead, the new introduction states, good evening and welcome one and all, then continues into the rest of the regular script. Take a listen. This isn't the first time Disney replaced a gendered introduction at their parks. Earlier this year, the fan favorite and now retired Happily Ever After at Magic Kingdom changed its intro to avoid labeling genders as well. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls had been the introduction to the Main Street Electrical Parade since the 1970s. The brand new Swan Reserve Hotel is open at Walt Disney World. The new property is part of the Swan and Dolphin Resort which sits between Hollywood Studios and the International Gateway entrance of Epcot. The resort, similar to the Four Seasons on Disney property, is actually not operated by Disney. Instead, Marriott International runs the Swan and Dolphin, but guests staying at the resort do enjoy the perks of staying on property as if they were Disney hotel guests. The new 14-story hotel tower offers 349 spacious guest rooms, including 151 suites that have floor-to-ceiling windows. If you are watching this episode live on Friday, November the 5th, and have the urge to book a flight today and stay at the hotel tonight, prices for a standard room with two queen beds starts at $313. Meet and greets are officially back, or should I say character sightings, as Princess Fairytale Hall and Mickey Mouse at Town Square have reopened at the Magic Kingdom. Character sightings is the new term coined by Disney for these more intimate interactions, as there is still social distancing needed between the characters and the guests. Guests must also continue to wear a mask while indoors for their socially distant photos. However, the princesses don't have to. Friend of the show, Alan McDonald, was one of the first guests to visit the characters when the sightings opened and provided us with these pictures. Since they've reopened, the wait times haven't been too bad. Outrage, uproar, pandemonium, all nouns that can be used to describe the Disney crowd's reaction to seeing Funko Pop's new 50th anniversary merchandise. Can you spot the error? I'll give you five seconds. Time's up. All right, we were looking for what is... The castle is the incorrect castle. That's right, Funko sent out this tweet stating that they were celebrating Walt Disney World, not Disneyland's 50th anniversary. By releasing these new items, fans were quick to point out that they are just reusing an old mold of Sleeping Beauty Castle, which is found in Disneyland, and then repainting it. Here's a shot of the old package for Disneyland's 65th anniversary, which was in 2020. And as you can tell, yep, that's the same castle. Just minimal effort there. 
That's it. You made it through another episode of Inside 300. If you like what you saw, be sure to subscribe. Click that bell icon. This way you're notified every time we come out with brand new content, including our show 50 for 50, the top 50 attractions in the history of Walt Disney World. I've been your host, Brian Perry. I will see you next time. And as always, bye-bye. <laughs>